Check, 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 check. Let me make sure this works because uh, we got a little bit of bad news to kick off episode 15 of our Madden 22 Philadelphia Eagles franchise rebuild. As you can see, we're in week three and you might be looking at that juicy week two game, high scoring game, unfortunately a loss to the New York Giants. And be like, what's going on, C4? Well, unfortunately, I recorded the whole video. I edited the whole video, let it run overnight. Woke up this morning to find that there was a terrible issue with the audio. It's the first time I use Elgato everything right now. Uh, I got this Elgato uh, wave mic and like the capture. It has not failed me this entire Madden cycle. So I didn't even think twice about having to like double check the audio. Like, once my levels are good, it's set and forget. And it sounded like this. Let's take a look at our weekly strategy now for this Giants match. So we can salvage it slightly. Uh, what we'll do is I will go look at the box score from this week two game, 41 to 35 defeat. I can show you guys, I'll just crop out my webcam, the corresponding plays that were like the big highlight plays, the plays that really define that week two game. And then we'll just get into this week three game against Detroit. Take our lungs from a not great loss, but hey, the Giants are undefeated. Maybe they're not that bad of a team. It was a very frustrating loss. Things... Things were said in that that luckily they won't see the light of day anymore. So let's get a recap from that week two defeat. And hopefully we can get back on our toes here against the undefeated, but still pretty low ranked 78 overall Detroit Lions. And this is the Lions team that has the number one overall pick at quarterback. The one quarterback that we spent so much time scouting that looked like he was going to be the guy that was going to be our franchise. And then obviously the Lions just won, I think, one game last year. So we have to go see that quarterback, I think, Owen Hauser in the flesh. So that being said, fellas, I would like to set a like goal potentially here for the weekend. If we can hit 1,500 likes on today's video, we will have double Eagles franchise on the weekend. Saturday's video will be, honestly, I'm thinking maybe a double header. Like Saturday, we'll do week four against the Rams, week five against the Ravens. And then Sunday, we could just focus solely on that road game against Dallas. I, and I, I talked about this in the video that got corrupted that I... You know, that Giants lost video where the, the pacing of this series, I think it's going to change. I feel like some weeks it's going to be worth picking up the pace a little bit, maybe having two games in one episode versus just always having that one big true gameplay. And I think when you do want to have those one big true gameplays, it's it's the games like Dallas. It would be like the Colts game if they had Carson Wentz in there, like the big primetime games we will have just different pacing on, on every different episode. But ultimately, 1,500 likes. We will have a double Eagles franchise upload on this week. And if you guys can smash that. So that being said, let's get into a week two recap just to show you guys what you missed. And then it is time to rebound against the 2-0 Detroit Lions. So there's a lot that needs to be unpacked from this game. It went to overtime. Uh, it, it really did turn into a game where I lost all trust in my defense. Um, we would go for it on pretty much every fourth down. In overtime, we went for it on fourth down deep in our territory just because we could not stop Daniel Jones. We did have an interception, which was an amazing interception. It was another week where we had very big time plays from Devontae Smith, a play that we could not run last year to save our lives, was slant passes, and it seems like Devontae has done nothing but work on his slant routes this season. But ultimately for me, man, the tail of the tape for this game was just how poorly the defense had played. We got a point where I was like, you know what? Late in the fourth, let them score. They throw a quick pass to Galladay. Let them score because our defense is not getting any stops. And the only way we're going to get back in this game is just win with our offense and go for two to tie it and send it to overtime. So Kenny G got in for the touchdown. We hit on a juicy slant pass for the two-point conversion to send this to OT. But yet again, it was just Daniel Jones carving up our defense. There's the L. So all that being said, I think the luckiest person from... Botched audio. This mic right here. You know who needs to be thanking whatever they believe in on this mic is Sammy Rios, our defensive coordinator. There was, uh, you know, we talked, we thought about firing him, we'll say, and then ultimately, I, you know what, I'm giving him another chance. He is a veteran. Um, you know, we got to, you know, 
it was one of those. It might have been impulsive a little bit. We 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 considered Jason Collins, but ultimately I was like, you know what? We'll give him one more chance. We'll give it Detroit. There's a bounce back game. Everyone can have a mulligan. It's a brand new staff. I didn't want to be too overreactionary, so luckily he didn't pack his things up, and we were able to retain him for another week. But that's definitely not the type of stability you want in your coaching staff. But we have a very winnable game here. Week three against the 78 overall Detroit Lions. But good thing is we have Miles Sanders returning from injury. Uh, picking up that injury in practice was kind of weird. Also kind of weird for Kenny Gainwell to be like down. He had two touchdowns last week. Touchdown the forced overtime. I think he would be riding high. Being like, you know what? I filled in as a running back one. And I did a commendable job. But uh, we do have some staff points that we can spend here, 39. And right now my priority is to continue working our way down here. Uh, we have to buy Premier Destination, not really caring about that. But this is the one. After school tutoring costs 20 points a shot. But we do have an additional weekly strategy. I'm just, that's what, the next 40 points are going into maxing out after school tutoring. Because I want all six available slots for that extra training. Extra XP every single week for our players that is, uh, you know, really one of the things that I think you guys should stress in your franchise to get down that tree as close as you can, especially for a long-term franchise, because it's just going to be how much XP over the years. If you just were ignoring that, are you missing out on for your players? So for this team, we might as well do this just because I want to see who we can scout or who we can uh, extra train and give extra attention during weekly practices. So look at the Lions. They're not particularly great here. Owen Howes, they're not still going with Jared Goff, right? Oh, and Hauser has to be. The number one overall pick has to be their QB. Uh, if that's the case, I, I think I want to defend the short pass. I, I think that they are not going to put a whole lot on the plate of the new quarterback. So let's make sure we take that away. Offensively, we want to line up. They are uh, actually pretty damn good here. <laughs> let's, you know, it comes down to this point of like, the, you know, maybe there's not a weakness we could pick up right here against Detroit, so we, we force the issue with what we're good at. So I, I think I agree with what the game said. Let's go throw it deep. Let's flex our muscles. So look, at, we got one more extra spot, which has been Zach Wilson, David Amos, and Damian Hughes as our focus players, and I feel like it's not going to be Melvin Jones. I think at this point, you know, it could be... Could be Quez. You could get some extra attention on the offensive line for sure. Um, Josh Sweat wouldn't be bad. You can look at Devin Bush, wouldn't be too bad. Juante Maddox could be getting, you know, honestly for this, though, for this series, a player that, I, you know, any, any additional uh, XP you could get would help. So I'm going to give that last spot right now to Quez Watkins. But again, we get those two extra ones. There you go. Then you throw in, you know, Mylotta at one of those spots. You throw in a Josh Sweat at one of those spots. So that is still priority for me. Let's get through this, uh, the, the regular practice here. Make sure we don't have injuries. Last time we did this, Miles Sanders missed the game. So I'm not, you know, I, I highlighted this that last time I talked. This is the, the type of realistic randomness that I, that I do think has been missing from Madden over the last couple of years. Because, like, literally, I had to alter my entire game plan with no Miles Sanders. Just from something that happens in real life. But it looks like we had a healthy week of practice which is very good. We're going to go in full strength here against the Detroit Lions. We need to bounce back, man. We can't go lose to the Giants, lose to the Detroit Lions, especially with, I mean, it's a young team. Maybe hiccups like that can happen with a young team like this as we got a little upgrade there for Kevon Wallace. But I, I don't want to, especially because it's a quarterback that we were just dreaming about getting. He might not even play. They, they could still be going with Jared Goff. And, even, and if that's the case, you definitely want to kick the shit out of them. Because they're just not playing the better quarterback. We got a mock draft one. I mean, it's way too early, but it's always kind of interesting, I guess, to see what what position Madden is currently saying I'm going. Right now, we have Kevin Key, who's very much an edge rusher. 6'3", 250 out of Notre Dame. Notre Dame runs, you know, a 3-4. So, yeah, he is a... I guess we could view him as a defensive end, wanting us to move on from a Derek Barnett, Brandon Graham. I suppose. I mean, we're not doing any scouting, I don't think, at defensive end right now, which is cool. We also have a tandem breakout on offense. These tend to be uh, kind of glitched, but it's Devontae Smith. Took our last game over. Oh, it's Jalen Rager. Yeah, well, absolutely. In this, in this point in time, we got to be challenging Jalen Rager. 
You got to make sure that this guy here remembers he was a first round pick. He knows what the guy down in Minnesota is doing. So we got Devontae Smith, 2,500 XP. And for this game, we're going to get Jalen Rager, 150 plus receiving yards. Don't know about that one. I don't know how attainable that's going to be, but we'll keep that in the back of our mind. There are a player two in our playbook that, does, that are almost designed to get Jalen Rager open. Maybe we go to that one a uh, couple couple times here in this matchup. Just quick, see what's under the hood for Detroit. I'm going to do this for all the teams because it is, you know, there, there was an offseason that could have had, and there, there could be big-time playmakers that aren't on the lines that we currently know. So Hauser is the highest-rated quarterback, so I'm expecting him to be the starter there. Kind of want to see, you know, what, what did we miss out on? Or if he plays bad, maybe we're just feeling a lot better that Zach Wilson, who's been on fire this season, is our quarterback. But they signed Juju Smith-Schuster, they got Valdez, Scantling, Cedric Wilson. So they're just completely revamping that wide receiver room around Quintez Cephas. They got Hawkinson, a tight end, who's a beast. Decker, Jackson, Ragnow, Big V, Suell. They got Clowney on the defensive line. Okay. I mean, they're sp they spent a lot of money this offseason. They got Denzel Perryman, middle linebacker. Trey Flowers still there at edge. They brought in Desmond King in the secondary to go with Akuda Owarie. Will Parks at safety. They spent a lot of money so there's a lot of new faces the revamped team with a very exciting quarterback so it's just gonna be that much better when we beat them with zach wilson Just stonewalled on the first play. We have... I, I don't think this DC is making it past this game. Just can't get these guys ready to play. Oh, there we go. Devin Bush on a sack. Like, that's just what we need to evolve into is a defense that doesn't rely on sacks and interceptions. Like, we just, we just don't get incompletions. I know most people don't get incompletions, but we got to hold ourselves to a higher standard here. So it's third and 12. It's a young, you know, rookie quarterback. He can get flustered. I don't care that he has the home fans behind him. And you got Fletcher Cox getting bodied by Big V here on back-to-back -back plays. It's not going to look great, but there's a nice PBU by Steven Nelson. And we hold them to a field goal. Bend, don't break. And they missed it. It is blocked. Let's go. Okay, got a third and three here. Above midfield. Want to get the first down. Remember, we have the... 150 yards for Jalen Rager. I will quickly look and see if we can win off the line. If not, I think Dallas Goddard should be open there for the easy first down. Doesn't not win off the line. Oh, Jalen Rager. Let's go. What is that, 65? He doesn't not win off the line. Speaking of, for, it's 55. Yeah, 55 yards. So we need a, you know, 105. Or whatever. No, we don't need that. 95. It's a first round boost. Going up against a first round boost. I don't know if it's too soon to call, you know, the Lions guy a bust yet. But, hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, there's the rookie. Davian Hughes runs right through. And breaks down how who might have been limping there a little bit. That's a big time sack there from the first round. Uh, first round baller out of Ole Miss against the first overall baller out of I I can't remember where Hauser was from. You know where he is right now. He's on his ass as Javon Hargrave gets home back to back sacks third and a mile. This drive absolutely collapsing for the Detroit Lions. Everyone's making an appearance here. Let's see if we can get old Fletch here. It's a tough, I mean, a tough matchup. If Fletch is getting locked up by Ragnow, I believe it. Ragnow is an outstanding center. And there's a drop by Cedric Wilson. 
And last time, the CPU helped me out with the block, and he missed it 58. Terrible, terrible special teams outing so far for the Lions. We go Devontae on the run, and that is a gain of 14. Well, Sanders missed last week. Let's get him. Let's get him some touches here in the red zone. Pick up his staggering pace that he hit last year for his touchdowns. Ooh, so I see a good, good run D rep there. Now the slants is a play that we got going last week against the Giants. Wonder if we can get it going here today. No, oh, it's not good. They watched tape last week against the Giants. Let's kick the field goal. Do the damn thing. Just do the damn thing, Josh Sweat. Oh, and there's just Javon Hargrave. Uh, this is not very good from the Detroit Lions offensive line. That was more of a pass breakup by Rager. 60 yarder, Jake Kelly. Let's go. Inside the dome. He got the leg for it. Let's see here. That looks perfect. From a 60, and it's right down the middle, Jake Elliott, let's go. What a kick from the logo. Okay, they're going no huddle here. I'm a little worried. They're getting some yardage. Fletcher Cox destroy, oh, come on, Slay. Come on, Slay. Keep his hive where you at. You gotta get a closer look here. Jerry Slay literally running and running his route for him here. Better than him. One. Might not have got that second foot down. Are they gonna review that? How are you not gonna review that? And he. See if his hive where you at? Man, Y catch, holding Y catch doesn't work in Madden 22. It's always just some weird animation in a drop. I know it's like aggressive catch, but they it's aggressive drop. That's what it should be labeled as. I go Dally. We need more points for halftime. Oh my god. Jalen Rager might we might be able to hit this dev trait. I think it's a dev trait. I think. Come on. He's becoming... Last year, Miles Sanders became, like, the best, hottest running back in the NFL. Devontae Smith, right now, in year two, hottest wide receiver in the NFL. Bar none. We'll show, the, we'll show where he ranks at the end of this game against the rest of the league. You won't be shocked, but you'll be pleasantly surprised. What do you mean, booth review? He had two feet in. Thank you. Got a third and nine. This has got to be another shot to Ragger. Let's go. Oh, the safety. Oh, come on. We had that. Oh, uh, Clowney read it well. If if we picked up Clowney, Ragger was wide open. That, that might have been a touchdown. That might have been the weekly goal. Hell of a play from Clowney. Forced the punt on our opening drive. Go, Vontae Maddox, tremendous play there in the run. Force it a third and goal. Bend, don't break, and we hit it again. We'll run nickel defense. Uh, Fletch, get off your block. Come on, make a play, man. Did he get in? He's on the one. Darius Slay, what are they going to do? They're going to go for it, okay. Come on, come on. Big stop. Big stop here. Big. Jalen Smith meets him with the gun, and it's Javon Hargrave. Two sacks gets maybe the biggest play of the game. Outrageous goal line stand from Philly. Wow. Okay. 
We'll take that. There we go. Another pass. Jalen Reger for about 16. There we go. Devontae, another big grab. Matched up the linebacker. That's that's favorable for us. Let's get this off. I like the look. I like the look. And I think that's going to be third and one to start the fourth. Third and inches. I don't like that play. Curls. Let's do curls because Devontae Smith is incredible. You want to go for two? Sure, why not? And we'll just go to old Dally Goddard. 28. To seven, I think you were starting to see fans head for the exits. Fake! I mean, again, like it was just. There has to be a. There's the A and X can't be the only two buttons for tackling because I have to be doing this wrong. A tackles miss. S tackles miss. Is there like? Uh, left trigger A? Like, is there a better attack? Like, here, okay, first of all, all of blitz. That's what you do when you're feeling it. But, like, multiple missed tackles. Multiple just A's and X's. No one can bring DeAndre Swift down. All right, we got a third and eight here. I mean, a quick three it out. Uh, we don't want that. Definitely don't want that. Okay. Big V's just eating Fletcher Cox's line. I mean, oh, fucking, I don't give a shit at this point. Come on, it's stupid. All right, and there's our first pick. Oh man, would you would you imagine that that I missed the first tackle as well, and he just goes right into the end zone? There's our first interception for Zach Wilson in Eagles uniform, and of course, it comes down to me trying to force feed the ball into Jalen Rager to get his whatever it is. I don't even know if you get a dev trait. From whatever the fuck that little cutscene was, because they're broken half the time. Well, now we have one pick. What's the difference between throwing that and, like, we have to get the dev trade for Rager, if that's what it is. So, uh, I'm shocked. I literally, I'm, I'm almost speechless for, like, how this game is broken down. Don't throw the controller, C4. Don't throw the controller. You don't want to go to Best Buy later. It's not in my, my plans today just to go to Best Buy because this game's fucking awful. Yeah, the corner runs are out better than, better than my wide receiver. Let's go for it. It's still in shock. I don't know. How am I, how am I expected to uh, battle in this game when I'm in complete shock? All right, he's not only he's gonna lose the jump ball, the ball's just gonna like go 15 yards off someone's knee. I'm done playing defense here. We're gonna play offense only and just hopefully get uh, get that dev trait because that's all that matters now. Unbelievable. He's not even on the field. I might not be able to do double. I I feel like I need a break. I I can't like from my from my files being corrupted to just what we're going through here. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not playing this game. I need, like, a weekend break of Madden. So, uh, yeah, weekend break of Madden. I need it. Like, all of this still go. We didn't get, we didn't hit what we needed for Rager. We're, like, a catch-off. Uh, dominated the Lions for the first half. Dominated. 20-7, to and then they got third... Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I need a much needed break. Don't buy Madden 22. Things just go against you on the blink of it. Like, I mean, like that collapse. If collapses happen in real life, sure. Sure, collapses. Not like that, though. 
not like that. So, hey, the better team won today. Detroit 42, Philadelphia 28. Two-game losing streak. Needed 150 yards for Rager. Threw our first pick for Zach Wilson on the year, trying to get that dev trade for Rager, or whatever it was going to be. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Maybe I'll do a rebuild or something this weekend. One rebuild this weekend. Pause on the Eagles franchise. I, I This is fucking garbage. Uh, let me just get this out of the way. Because I know we didn't hit it. Yeah, it just didn't go your way. You missed the yard and we uh, tried to cater offense to you. And you couldn't help us out. Had a couple drops there in the fourth quarter, I noticed. So yeah, wait, I'm going to pause with this. Uh, maybe Monday. Give me, like, give me, give me the weekend just to forget about... What just happened? Give me, give me money for, 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 tell you right now, actually. No, 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 no. I'm not going to go out the cuff and fire my DC, even though he gave up 41 points against one of the worst teams in the NFL, real life in Madden, in the Giants last week, and then 42 points this week against the Lions. But, uh, that was, you know, the offense put them in bad positions there, uh, more, more than not, and that's, that falls on me. But, uh, it just it does it's not fun when the game's playing against like you're going against the, the lines and then there's just other things that are going against you and it just really you know it's a tough sell and I, and I know everyone watching this has probably had games like you just saw and I know you probably know how you feel when those games happen where it's like what happened wasn't me wasn't me like fumble on Wilson Fumble on my best player. Next play. Like, as soon as that happened, you're just like, what are we doing here? What what are we doing here? You know, it happens to everybody. It just happened to me. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to take, we're going to take the weekend just to, just to pause on the Eagles franchise so that I forget. I Like, the next time I pick this up, next time I load this up, well, I will see two straight losses. I won't remember the pain and frustration from these losses. So that'll do it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, as always, first time sound by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you... Smash the like button if you've gone through shit like this in Madden Franchise. So we were, it's like a support group. Uh, and yeah, I, you know, I'll get some up this week. I think it'll probably be a realistic rebuild. And that will be out most likely Sunday. Just because I'll probably take tonight's Friday and uh saturday to record it so yeah i will have a realistic rebuild but we're gonna pause this eagle series because yeah he didn't give me a reason this is his own series saying hey don't play me for a little bit that's what this game was so that'll do it for me today guys trying to spin around i gotta go pick up my kid gotta get in a good mood here probably just chug this energy drink and uh forget that this ever happened thanks for watching peace out